Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Last night down there in the Gulf of California near Mexicali, there was a magnitude 5.5 earthquake along the San Andreas Fault Zone. It was felt all the way in Ar to Arizona, um, Los Angeles, Oceanside, San Diego, 4,351 4, people reported feeling this earthquake. Up near Bakersfield, Lancaster, it was felt. Um, here is the one there in Arizona. Snow Lake, it looks like it says. On EMSC, a lot of reports. Loud noise, blind swaying, dogs barking a lot. Um, people said it shook their homes and their trailers. Some people said it lasted for about 45 seconds. I'm sure there was some damage, but um, I haven't seen any reports of damage. Here it says, three big booms and a shake. Interesting. You know, another thing about where this earthquake occurred in the Gulf of California is the fact that Yellowstone Super Volcano has two areas where the magma comes up or comes into the caldera. One comes all the way down from down here um, in the Gulf of California, and the other one is the Snake River Plateau. If there is a large unzipping of the San Andreas Fault, and if it came from the south moving north, um, it would have a funneling effect upon Los Angeles, narrowed down by the mountains and then spraying out and doing a lot of damage to the Los Angeles area. And then I talked about the Inglewood uh, Fault Zone that runs along here, along Long Beach, uh, down to Huntington Beach, etc. How that fault line is an extension of the San Andreas Fault Zone. If there was a large earthquake on the San Andreas Fault Zone, it would trigger earthquakes along other fault zones. Um, they say would probably cause more damage, a magnitude 7, than what a magnitude 8 would do along the San Andreas Fault Zone. Any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. So you should be prepared for a disaster, just like you're preparing for the uh, virus. You would be isolated from help for quite a while during a, or after a major earthquake. Kind of like being put into quarantine. So did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? What was the movement like? Did you have damage? Um, please put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.